Well, I mean, we've from the start, even you know, with our celestial characters in this show, we've tried to work under the notion of making it relatable and making it like a real family. Um, there's a lot of like other things that go on within that family, but um, so you know, there's there's some unresolved stuff between mum and our sons, um, and but at the heart of it, she's still their mum. Yeah. So we find, you know, and we've not experienced that in the show yet, where there's kind of real loose bricks being real love, unconditional love, you know, which is a bit of a curveball for him. Um, yeah, it, it definitely has, as, as mothers do, have a tendency to bring out maybe a side of their children that they don't show sometimes to other people, um, and how they relate to each other, and there's also going to be a... You, each, you have a personal relationship, an individual relationship with each one of your children, meanwhile still having a group relationship as well. So it's a fun dynamic to, to work with. You know, I worked with Tom first, and I hadn't even met um, oh, Davey. I hadn't even met him because he wasn't up there yet. And then so, but you know, I think it was good because the first time I had a, a scene with him was him alone. Yeah. Him and I, as opposed, and you know, we yeah. had a scene alone together for, for the first time, as opposed to oh, it's it's the family scene. Instead, we kind of got to work on our individual relationships first, yeah, before we we had a group scene. So, so, group therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not teased throughout the entire season of who she is. Is she there? We do meet her um, in the first episode, and you really get to understand who she is and and what she wants in the second episode. Social sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've written team are amazing, and they. Well, I think one of the one of the things I love about it is that, it, is that they really love the show as well. And I think right, certainly writing the character of Lucy before them from the start was a bit of a news as a writer. It's kind of oh my god, I've got this opportunity to, for Anna character to say what he wants to do, wants, and all of these kind of these gifts basically. Um, so, but they, the, the standards of the writing on the show has been something that's, you know, it's been it's something that we wanted to keep from the pilot, because the original pilot script, the original uh, character that was realised by Tom Kapanos, you know, who, had, uh, who writes these characters so cool. Um, we, you know, we wanted to keep that voice going, and um, and our writers have just latched onto it and, and run with it really, and, and the show's really evolved, and, um, and we've got a very creative floor that we, you know, when, when we're at work, it's not always as scripted. We throw stuff in, you know, when it feels right, and, and um, it's a very sort of collective uh, sense of creativity. Can you talk about working with DB? Is that relationship Hate between it. the two of you? <laughs> <laughs> it's so Hate fantastic. It. He is the, um, no, he's he's great. We have a, we do have a lot of fun because we do <laughs> love each other dearly off screen. <laughs> so it is fun to have spats with people when they're your mates. Um, but he's, I mean, but not just DB, like the rest of the cast. We just we are a bit of a family, and we all really like each other, and that really helps. Um, and we have a lot of a lot of fun doing the show. You know, we don't, we, we don't the show doesn't take itself too seriously, um, which I think is a big saving grace. You know, and I think. Uh, as, a, as, a, as a group uh, and, and within the crew as well, you know, we take our work seriously, but we don't take ourselves too seriously. It's a great place to go and be creative. And coming in second season is sometimes very daunting to join a show because it's already a well-oiled machine and, it's, and you just don't know how you're going to fit in. But I was immediately embraced, immediately felt, uh, you know, made to feel comfortable. And and then then you're past all that yeah. and you can just focus on work. And uh, so it was a real pleasure for me to come. It was a pleasure for us to have you. <laughs> Obviously, when you do anything like this, you you want people to watch it, you want people to respond to it, and you hope they respond in a positive way. And because um, it doesn't always happen like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there was a there was a, a slightly nervous element to certainly from my side of things about how it would be received um, because I knew the name might get the name of the show might get in the way of people's feelings. About the show. But I think the nicest thing is that when people have watched it, one, they've gone, oh my god, I can't believe it's this funny. And it's like, I didn't expect it to be that. I didn't expect something that's kind of like ominous and dark. And, and we have elements of that. But, you know, like I say, the humour was always had a real attractive thing for me in the first place. It was like, I want to do something that's fun. Um, and we can tell a story that does resonate at times, but it's still fun. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and it's entertaining to our audience and that's that's been our sort of you know our objective from the start and so the fans catch it on and, and going for that it's just like oh god yeah. and coming to Comic Con last year was amazing it was the first time I'd ever been and the show hadn't aired and they screened the pilot and people were laughing at the right place <laughs> <laughs>